It's Matt Hancock. Matt, it is Matt, is Hancock. Matt Hancock. It is Matt Hancock. So cuffed or stuffed? You it, saying stuffed? I'm saying stuffed. In what way has he been stuffed? Almost every way you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the expression on his face, what's happening while that photo was taken? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, he entrusted all his private WhatsApp messages to journalist Isabel Oakshot. Why did he do that? Because he's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honour, <laughs> we have no further help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you he... will accept that as an answer. <laughs> he handed them over to her to help her ghostwrite his pandemic diaries. She had signed a non-disclosure agreement. She passed the private messages to the Daily Telegraph. Matt Hancock actually called it a massive betrayal on a scale only his wife could understand. <laughs> <laughs> How did a lawyer who was asked to act on behalf of Matt Hancock oh. embarrass himself on GB News? This is so good. Let's have a look. Who was actually recently asked to act for Matt Hancock. Thank you for joining me. Yes, I have to say that's disappointing because I made it absolutely clear to your programme. I asked them not to disclose that. And that is very, very poor journalism. <laughs> Yeah, we're, what good we're not it do? talking about this. Can you? I've just been given the actual email that you sent to my producer, which they'd like me to read out, um, as a courtesy to the lady who approached me to act for M H Matt Hancock. I would be grateful if it was mentioned that he asked me to act for him. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it seems that you actually. That you're to absolutely to right. That it's my mistake. I missed out the knot. I take all of that back. <laughs> my ass, my ass, my ass, my ass, <laughs> How does he find these people? 